In this episode, we're going to be talking about my adventures with Superman. Wow. Unexpected. Unexpected. <sighs> Season one, it's on Max. Mm -hmm. So if you have Max, go watch it. It's 10 episodes. Uh, 20 like 20... Mi about 20 minutes each. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's pretty quick. It's quick. So if you haven't finished the series, just like this, keep it in your queue for a, a watch later type of situation. Come back mm -hmm. to us in a, in a day or two when you've finished. But yeah, unexpected, uh, animated DC show about Superman. Unexpectedly, we watched the Super like we're both Batman fans. So we don't hate Superman, but it feels yeah. we don't. There, I mean, I guess there's not a lot of Superman like like things. Things, like, period. yeah. Like, the movies is kind of there's not that many. It feels like there's a few animated ones, but he was, typically Superman usually doesn't get his own stuff. It's yeah. not like geared the biggest. Towards I know him. for a lot of like the general population, Smallville is the biggest. Yeah, Smallville's probably the biggest, yeah. Yeah. But uh, let's do non spoiler thoughts. Harrison, your I, thoughts. I binge, so I binge this. Mm -hmm. It's an easy binge, honestly. Oh, yeah. Such an Most easy definitely. binge. Yeah. And I, I really like, I love this. I actually really liked watching this. I was like, I think they gave such a good, um, they portrayed Clark. They portrayed the whole cat, like the whole like the whole cast was the so whole well cast done. is so well done, and it just felt natural and it felt modern, of course, but not too modern. Yeah, like yeah, barely modern. It just felt like a modern take, but it was like good, and it was nice because we got to see we skipped the whole like oh we know like they skipped a lot of like the general things that you know about Superman, but they like go about but like they still incorporated it a little. They still bit incorporated it, and but it's really yeah. just focused on the day. Like he's, he's like a young adult at this point, yeah. but you're, so you're just following his life at this, at like where he's at now. Or trying to follow his normal, normal day, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> I, and for those that are watching, he's, this is like Superman starting out, mm -hmm. like legit. And I think so, like the year one stuff is always fun to see oh, how it's yeah. portrayed. Especially when they are trying to figure out their powers yeah. or like how to just kind of maneuver between being a superhero versus yeah. like kind of like a normal reporter as Clark is. It's it's funny. It's nice to see like a year, a year one, unlike in live action. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, no. Superman, Superman. Um, Superman. I'll take, I take that back. Superman got that. So it was just yeah. nice to see here. But yeah. in this one, it felt more quirky, it felt more comedic, but also like they took serious moments. It, it was a better blend of like emotion. Of both. Yeah. No, I agree. But I also felt like this was like, this made Superman a lot more relatable yes. to audience, yes. right? Because yeah. when you think about Superman, you think, oh, he's the superhero. Like, he is the. Biggest the... And like biggest superhero ever yep. but in the show you're just truly following clark and and it's just like him figuring out his life mm -hmm. literally in both aspects yeah yeah <laughs> Thank you.